India Water and Forest Resources In this module you will learn about the natural resource in India namely the water resources and land resources Materials that can be drawn on in order to function effectively are called resources. The resources obtained from nature are called natural resources. Let's see each of these resources in detail. Water resources in India include rivers, lakes, seas, wells, streams, ponds and oceans. The rivers in India are divided on the basis of their origin. These are of rivers of North India and rivers of South India. Let's look at these rivers in detail. The perennial rivers of North India are Sindhu, Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra. River Ganga also known as the Bhagirathi has made the triangular patch of land fertile near its mouth. The Ganga and the Brahmaputra rivers are used as waterways. Some other rivers of North India are Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Bias, Satluj and Kosi. River Kosi which flows through Bihar causes major devastation due to floods every year. The rivers which flow from the chains of mountains in central India are Tapi, Narmada and Mahanadi. Narmada and Tapi flow towards west and flow into the Arabian Sea. Rivers like Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and Tungabhadra flow eastwards and merge into the Bay of Bengal. These rivers flow through uneven plains and therefore are not used as waterways. But they form waterfalls. Water of these rivers are used for irrigation as well as for the production of hydroelectricity. A number of multi-purpose projects have been set up on rivers. These include the Narmada, Krishna, Tungabhadra, Kosi, Mahanadi and Satluj. A large inland body of fresh or salt water is called a lake. Lakes are of two types, natural and artificial lakes. Natural lakes are found in mountainous areas or along the course of a flowing river. Artificial lakes are constructed near the rivers for industrial or agricultural purposes such as hydroelectric power generation, domestic water supply and recreational purposes. The following table lists the natural and artificial lakes of India. India has a total forest area of around 63.72 million square kilometers and the percentage of forests is about 19.39% which is low compared to other countries. The forest area of India is covered by different types of forests such as evergreen forests, deciduous forests, mangroves, coniferous and thorny forests. Let's look at each of these forests in detail. The tropical evergreen forests are mainly found in the northeastern region of India and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The forests have a dense growth of trees that reach up to the height of above 30 to 35 meters. The trees found in these forests are Sal, Mahogany and Sesume. The trees of deciduous forests shed their leaves in autumn. The deciduous forests are mainly found in the Vindhya and Satpura hills and the foothills of the Himalayas, Eastern Ghats and Western Ghats. 
The trees found in these forests include teak, sal, maua, and people. The forests that grow in wet marshy areas, river deltas, and swampy saline areas near the seacoast, where deltas are formed, are called mangroves. These forests in the Ganga Delta are called as Sundarbans. They get their name from the Sundari trees that grow in these forests. Mangrove forests are mainly found in the deltas of the rivers Ganga, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and along the coasts of the Andaman Islands. Coniferous forests are found in the temperate region. In India, coniferous forests are mainly found in the mountainous region of Himalayas. The trees included are deodar, pine and spruce. Thorny forests are found mainly in those areas which receive rainfall less than 60 centimeters. These forests are chiefly distributed in Uttar Pradesh, Northwestern Punjab, Western Haryana and Rajasthan. The trees found in these forests include Bor, Jhor, Khijdo, Bavard, etc. The forest resources serve a number of important purposes. They provide timber for construction of boats and streamers. Cane wood is used to make artistic things like baskets, mats, toys and furniture. Leaves of palm and date trees are used to make brooms. Due to trees, soil erosion is prevented. The presence of trees increases the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. The forest resources have to be protected by taking the following measures. Illegal cutting of trees should be prohibited. People should be motivated to plant trees on the wastelands. Different forms of natural energy should be used. Citizens should be made accountable for protecting the forest. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on water and forest resources of India.